I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Right, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? Alex. Do I want to know? Oh god, Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. No way. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. Dress like an angel Your skin
skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep makes you happy whatever you want you're so very special god I wish I was special but I'm a creep I'm a weirdo what the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't belong here You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. But it looks like Mr. John Chin left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? Just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. Uh. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Okay. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? <laughs> falling pretty damn hard. Yeah. I mean, I guess. But it's amazing to be here. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the Spring Festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same.
Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work, if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now, and we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, There's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Can I get you two anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that- Uh, That we all knew you were coming, yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. (laughs) It feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh Uh-huh, and? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, No, no. Allow me. To 
Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Thanks for driving me home, Mike. You're the nicest cop I've ever met. Whoa! Hey! Great. Another wipeout. Pike is a funny name. <laughs> like the fish. Officer Fish. <laughs> Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved... I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. <laughs> Fuck. Nice one. <clears throat> Guess I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm really glad we did. Me too. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no. It's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Sure. Live action role play, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. I should get back to work. Okay. Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, 
I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> so you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, are you, are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh. Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna take you in for questioning. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. Right? <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. You definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> <sighs> you know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. 
You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. No, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. I was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time in my life. Some days that. I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? There's something... off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac, I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. 
he wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's gonna lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. No one told me that. I just... feel it. You sure it's not just... you know... It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds, or stress, or trauma, or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. Getting beat up and having no friends. That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay. Maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's... That's really special. I'm not special, Gabe. I beat the shit out of people. I'm broken. I'm not saying it's all sunshine and tulips. But you're strong. You could turn this whole thing into something incredible. But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. You don't think... Maybe? Fuck, maybe he did. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Let's go. Alex. 
This way. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land. Outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his minor in training. <laughs> that was back before mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? Hey. We're gonna find him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. So if the zombie is here, then... If Ethan really followed the path in his comic, finding him just became a lot more doable. There's like a side door back there? I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ann? You okay? I'm sorry to call you at work. I just came home from the doctor. I couldn't wait for you to come home. Ethan must have gone upstairs.
Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Heads up! What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. We close? Think so. Ethan! 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 Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. About me. Alex, are you sure? Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. <coughs> Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady, steady's fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. Go 
don't get hurt. I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe. Ethan, I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Okay, hey, hey, focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter! He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me! If I move, it'll see me! What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. I can't believe this is happening. Feeling what Ethan feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. I brought all this I stuff. Brought all this stuff. None of it will None save, me. save me. I thought I could, I thought thought I could hurt the monster, 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 but it's hunting me. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of. See me. Can't let it see me. It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. Angle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. I'm headed back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. <laughs> Not over yet. Okay. One step at a time. Yeah, buddy. I'm still really scared. Yeah. Me too. But we can do this. 
One step at a time. Okay. Do you think the log will break? Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Shit. Ha, ha, ha. 